it's Nina and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a very exciting video for me. I got a package in the mail from Angelic Pretty USA and I'm excited to open it up with you guys. Also apologies in advance, I feel like the lighting is a little bit bad in this video. I'm filming in my bedroom which I usually don't film in but we're just gonna have to deal with it for right now. So as part of the winter sale, I decided to partake in a dress that I have been looking at for the last couple of months now. From the title, we already know what it is. It's Angelic Pretty's Noble Collection. I don't know if it went on sale because it's just not popular in the West and like everyone already bought it in like the Japanese release or it just in general this isn't a very popular print but luckily my interests are not aligning with the general Lolita community at this time. The dress I got is the JSK in mint which is more of like a muted pea green color as opposed to like a true normal mint color. I just thought it was really unique and I thought the print was already really cute with local cats inside of the like kind of embellished hearts. So yeah, I was just interested in this print for a little while now, but didn't want to justify paying the full price for it. So luckily when it went on sale, I was able to get it as well as the matching head bow. But I've had this box in my house for the last 24 hours and I've been dying to dive into it. So let's go ahead right now. Okay, so I see inside the box. Ooh, okay. Let's see the rest of this. We have the head bow and a little baggie. And then we have the dress and wow, this is, whoa. Wow, really descriptive, but this dress is so beautiful. And the color is really interesting. It's even more muted and dark in person than it is on the website. Let me get him out of his protective covering over here. Okay, so I'll do a couple insert shots in a little bit to show you all of the details of the print. But right off the bat, it's really, really beautiful. There's a couple details I didn't really see on the website with how much just like jewel encrusted pieces are part of the print design. I think the cats are really, really adorable. I like that they have the little like star embellishment on their heads and also little angel wings. This dress is polyester, which I don't really like. I'm more of a cotton EP supremacist, but I do think that the material is pretty nice. It's quite lightweight, um, but not like a really thin chiffon. It's pretty similar in texture to my Queen Cookie Parade. So this large bow on the front is not removable. And I think this is another one of the pieces that people maybe didn't like very much. It's kind of garish with these really, really large gemstone pieces on it. Okay, so this is really interesting. All of these pieces here, these big gold embellishments, are actually buttons. So they can be like undone and then like there's a little buttonhole for each of these pieces. So I'm not really sure what that like design choice is. I guess that they just had molded these as buttons and then figured that they would use them as that on the front of this as just like kind of like studs. So this bow is really interesting. Obviously I love the burgundy and navy together, but the material of it kind of has this like reflective like speckling on it, sort of like what you would see on like men's suiting. Also along the sleeves, there is this ruffle detail with a center strip of ribbon. And along the waistline, as opposed to having a really big waist bow, there's this kind of like belted detail here, of course, the angelic pretty tags and the removable waist ties on the back. This dress does have partial shearing, which is done more as like bigger strips of um, elastic as opposed to the really, really thin tight shearing that are on some other dresses. And this is a good thing. The lacing is actually done with little loops as opposed to having it be thread through the um, lace itself, which I think is good for like the longevity of the dress. Sometimes with older pieces, the lace will get really stretched out and break in some places, so then you have to redo all of the lacing. But I think having it be this more sewn in loop, it hopefully will be able to withstand the test of time a little bit better. So I didn't even notice until I just picked it up now, but the some of the larger hearts that have this like ribbon going across them say angelic pretty, and there's also large A's and P's that have kind of like gold and pearl details on them. Okay, so let's also look at the head bow that came in this separate bag over here. So this is really interesting too. The head bow also has the really large charms on them and the charms are also done as buttons with button holes, except for the very bottom charm, which is actually done as just the regular button that's sewn onto the outside of the fabric. I do think the top of this bow is really, really cute with the little pearls and star charms. 
I feel like overall this dress has a very opulent and rich feeling to it. I think it's really, really beautiful and kind of has the perfect border on classic and sweet that I really like. Anyway, I am really excited to wear this dress. I think that it will look really great with some more OTT Hime coordinates. Just with how much jewelry and like opulent items are in the print itself. Either way, I'm really excited to have this dress in my collection. It's very unique, both color-wise and design-wise, and I think it was a really good investment for me to pick up as part of the sale. Okay, so that is it for my unboxing. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are doing well as always. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment sections if you did, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!